Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a good start of the weekend so far. Uh, and in this video, we'll talk about Solana. All right, it's going to do a full update here. We'll talk about some fundamentals. Uh, even though we talked about the fundamentals quite often or, or quite a bit uh, yesterday already, right? And I, I think the technicals here are uh, actually more interesting. Uh, because yesterday and uh, and overnight actually for Solana as well, because what we saw is that yesterday uh, when the market started crashing or when the market started dumping, uh, we saw initially that that the Bitcoin dominance was actually dropping down quite a bit. So what that meant is that Bitcoin was dropping much, much more than altcoins. So Solana was actually able to hold its its same support level. We, we dropped, dropped down to the 4th of September. Uh, which was pretty good. Eventually made a lower low, dropped down into one twenty in, into the one twenties, uh, which was which was in general to be expected. All right, that's also what we talk, what, what what I said yesterday. In that Solana, technically at this point of time, um, uh, uh, yesterday, but also right now is still bearish. Um, but we got a nice spike into one twenty, which is still the support level. I do think will hold. Um, because I do think this support level right here between 125 and 115 will hold. But the main question for me is, um, all right, well, can we actually get that confirmation? Because sure, this is great that I think this will hold. Um, but essentially what we are still waiting for in order to take some sort of a position on this, so to potentially trade this, is confirmation. And so far, we haven't gotten that confirmation, I think. This spike we had is pretty decent, right? It, it, could, it could become the, the bottom, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not uh, convinced of that yet. And I'm trying to, to get some more information here, but my coin glass is, uh, is, is lagging. Uh, there we go. No, because the thing is, is that I, I, I'd want to see at least one bullish uh, breakout from here. Um, what we saw is that we had some some big liquidations yesterday evening. So so that's that spike we had, um, pretty similar to the fourth of, of September, and now we're forming some sort of a three drives pattern, uh, which is a reversal a reversal uh, uh, sign. It's 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 a bullish indication, um, but still. Like I said yesterday as well, if you look at like if you delete this trend line, which a lot of people don't like trend lines and, and I kind of agree with that. But if you kind of look at the average trend here, so the average price is trending down and we have so far respected that yesterday afternoon, we also respected that. So I need to see at least a break above the, the lowest level of the trend, which is b between 130 and 132. As long as we haven't broken above that, Technically, I will remain bearish because that's just the, the, the most logical thing to do. And therefore, at this moment, it actually looks most likely, even though we got a nice liquidity spike here, which is apart from that three drive pattern, also a, a reversal sign, which is bullish. Um, but regardless, I would still say this is most likely. Now, do we have a chance to actually re re reverse here? Yes, but there's no momentum. So the only reason why I would expect <coughs> some sort of a reversal here it's just in general market mean reversion, right? So the entire market, Bitcoin especially, is, uh, is, is trying to get some sort of a, a pullback, a bullish pullback into 56 and 57,000. That's going to pull Solana up with it. And we still have that Solana breakpoint uh, fundamental event, which historically has also been bullish. Um, so yeah, th th that's something we'll see over the course of the weekend. I, I think we have a good chance to actually do something like this, break back above 131.5 and get some sort of a move up to 140. But I will not do anything with this unless we actually get the breakout. And until we get the breakout, this is still most likely and, and this is what you should assume uh, um, is going to happen because this is very much in line with the trend so far. And I have not seen any confirmation yet as to why this trend would all of a sudden fail. So those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know. Regardless, I still think 115 or 120 will hold. So this is not necessarily bearish uh, because I do think we'll, we'll do something like this afterwards. Uh, but still, wait for the confirmation. That's what you need to know for now. Um, so I'll see you all in my next videos and, uh, and bye.